hello guys welcome back to the channel and i get so many requests for this lab because you guys thinking that this lab is updated but no this lab is not updated the console is updated and because of that you are facing the lots of issue when you are deploying your code so i request you please watch the video carefully because i am going to explain what the thing that you are doing and because of that you are facing the error and i am going to explain you what changes you have to do if you face the error so first of all just simply log into your credentials and once you're done with that that, just simply come back over here click on the checkbox and then click on agree and continue now just simply wait and just simply activate your cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just simply wait for that and now click on continue now in the description box of this video i will share all these commands so basically what you do you have to come back to the lab instructions and just simply click on the task number two now just simply scroll up and from here you can see this command so just simply copy this zone over here copy like this way come back over here and just simply paste over here like this way now just simply remove this unwanted pop-up like this way just simply remove this now copy all these things carefully make sure that you have to copy this full stop as well copy like this come back over here paste hit enter wait for a second and then just simply click on this authorize now this command is going to take at least 5 to 10 minutes so just simply make sure that your laptop will not go for a sleep otherwise your cloud shell will be disconnect and because of that you might face unnecessary error so just simply make sure of that thing now just simply wait for a couple of minutes and we will continue with that after
and it's finally done now i'm going to explain your first mistake that you don't have to do so first of all what you do you have to just simply click on this open editor over here now click on this got it wait for a couple of seconds over here now here you can see use the legacy editor just simply click over here wait for a couple of seconds over here and it's done now once you see this kind of interface what kind of interface here you can see student id then you can see this cloud code sample folder when you see this kind of page then only you have to continue with the lab otherwise what happen you will face the unnecessary error when you are deploying your code so make sure that you have to get this kind of interface now what you do just simply click on this view over here then click on this command petal over here now here what you do just simply type run on kubernetes over here and just simply click over here wait for a couple of seconds now here you can see for that just simply come back to the lab instructions and just simply click on the task number three just simply scroll down and from here you can see task number three point number five just simply copy this path over here copy like this come back over here paste now just simply choose your path now i'm going to explain you the main reason that you guys face first of all what you do before selecting anything just simply come back over here scroll down and then copy this code copy this code come back over here now please listen what i'm saying just simply make sure that it, you don't have to just simply switch back from this page what is the meaning of that means you don't have to come back to the lab instructions or anything you have to be on this page otherwise what happen you will face an unnecessary error i will explain you that error as well so basically copy this code come back over here click on this docker file over here just simply wait now and then just simply click on this yes over here like this way wait for a couple of seconds and then just simply click on this enter the address just simply click over here now just simply paste the address which you just copy this one now just simply hit enter button like this way now again you have to be on this page until you get the output like success so just simply wait for a couple of minutes over here now So as you can see update is initiated now after some time as you can see the build is started now just simply wait for a couple of minutes over here And here you can see update is succeed. Now if we just simply open this link, just simply click on this link. If you are using a Windows machine, just simply press Control. Or if you are using a Mac, so just simply press Command and then click on this link over here. Now just simply come back over here and just simply wait over here. And here you can see it's running. Now sometime what happen if you face the error like the deployment is failed. The reason is if you just simply switch back the window this way. So if you let me just show you that. If you are facing this kind of error, I saw this error from the one of the user. If you are getting this kind of error, you don't have to worry. Basically what you do, you have to come back over here. Again, click on this view. Again, click on this command battle. And again, just simply follow the step which I showed the previously. Okay. Now, once you see this kind of page, then what you have to do, you have to just simply come back to the lab instructions over here. Scroll down a little bit. And from here, what you do, you have to just simply copy this path. So just simply copy like this way. 
copy like this come back over here now click on this view option then again click on this command petal and now just simply remove this arrow like this way and now just simply paste the path now here you can see the second option just simply click over here just simply click on the second option now just simply scroll down and from the line number 20 you can see it's running now this thing you have to just simply change so just simply scroll down and from the point number two you can see updated so just simply copy this thing and just simply copy this colon just simply copy like this way come back over here and just simply select like this let me just zoom in for you like this way now just simply remove this and just simply replace with this like this way once you're done with that you can see the update is initiated again now just simply wait for a couple of minutes over here and it's finally done as you can see deployment done updates is succeed now if you just simply come back over here and if you just simply refresh the page just simply wait and as you can see it's updated you can see this page now what you do you have to come back to the lab instructions just simply scroll down and from the task number four copy this code copy like this come back to the dashboard and just simply run over here click on this open terminal scroll down a little bit paste hit enter now this command is going to take a couple of seconds meanwhile what we'll do we will check the score for the remaining task so just simply click on this check my progress and this check my progress you will get a score without any issue if you follow the way I explain so now just simply wait and as you can see it's done now if I just simply click on this check my progress I will get a score without any issue and the, is the score is not updated no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of minutes and the score will update for sure and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys